hey it's the empire don't forget to hit the like button the subscribe button and the bell icon for more videos be taking over let's go champ hit that like button hit that subscribe button right now let's go hey it's the empire geo boxing empire boxing boxing now my boy keith chief thurman baby you know the former wba world champion right former wbc world champion man he came out man and bob aram said that yeah man keith thurman he reached out to me keith chief he came out and said yeah let's fight but you know that bag man he he demanded too much money he demanded too much money and you know bob aram has always been known as a penny pincher in boxing he's always been known as a guy who don't like to spend a lot of money you know uh you know the, the old rich guys you know in america uh the, the media will have you believe that everyone when they get money they're they're living this luxurious lifestyle but that's not how the really re wealthy live the really the wealthy live penny pinching their way through life that's how they retain so much wealth right now i'm gonna get some quotes for you guys man this is what bob aram says bob aram says that thurman's people got in touch with me but they're out to lunch aram told boxingscene.com they have such crazy expectations they just don't exist anymore that don't just exist anymore their money demands are crazy they said they were free agents which i'm sure they are but again who's gonna pay that who's gonna pay what they're looking for so there you guys have it man uh not only is keith thurman saying that hey man pay me this bag but he says yo you can i'm a free agent you can you can sign me what's up what do you want to do and bob aram is like nah nah it's pandemic time man we can't give you that kind of money and this is uh this is an asterisk on uh, Crawford's career because Crawford thinks he's going to just get uh, our Heyman's biggest stars and just it's going to go all easy. And that's just not the case, man. You're not going to just get a Terrence, uh, a Errol Spence Jr. or Manny Pacquiao fighting the mean machines of the world and fighting has-beens and, and nobodies, you know? So Crawford's going to have to get through his point that He's gonna have to fight a big name from PBC before he fights the Manny Pacquiao's and Errol Spence's. You know, when Al Heyman's like, yeah, listen, he could fight one of my former big fighters here. That's what's, what he's gotta pay the cost. And Bob Arum saying no, you know, Bob Arum is always pushing a narrative that Crawford, everyone's ducking the guy and no one wants to fight him and they're starving him out. You know, oh, it's PBC, it's all the PBC fault no because we want to see this fight now and you don't want to make the fight it's it's bob aram's fault because if you want to do business with uh, a commodity like a keith one-time thurman you're gonna to have to pay the cost for that that, that commodity and come on and, and keith thurman's a luxury item in the welterweight division he had multiple belts in the welterweight division these are facts in the welterweight division he's more accomplished than a, 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 a terrence crawford these are facts right deeper resume fought tougher opposition uh and one, one, at one point was even a bigger name than terrence crawford because he was so hype he talked a lot of trash he was exciting to watch and he's still exciting to watch so you know all that being said they still don't want to pay this guy what he's worth i don't i don't understand what bob aram thinks he thinks everything's going to be on a discount because it's COVID 19. you know uh unfortunately for bob aram keith thurman isn't a stock he's not a stock he doesn't he's not one of these uh d uh, uh uh he's not a liability he's an asset that 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 is building more value over time because keith thurman he he people will still want to see the guy and that in that Manny Pacquiao fight wasn't uh it didn't drop his stock at all it didn't drop drop his stock at all he's he's coming back he, he wants to be active again and you know he knocked on your door and you got shook you got shook talking about you want to pay him some bum wage because of COVID-19. That's not how things work, Bob. That's not how things work. You got to pay the cost to be the boss. And, you know, he showed time and time again that he does not want to pay these fighters what they're worth, you know. So we're going to see how this whole thing plays out with, with Terrence Crawford and Keith Thurman. Um, like I said earlier, um, Bob Aaron was talking about how he still wants to fight in the UK with um, Kerr Brook. And, from, and like, like I said earlier, from what I'm hearing, Keith Thurman says, we're gonna offer him more money. Whatever you think you can offer him, Bob, we can we can double that probably. <laughs> you know, cause Bob is cheap, man. Bob is cheap. So that being said, man, we're gonna see how this whole thing plays out. 
Bob is still trying to pursue the fight in the UK with Carol Brook. Um, and we'll see if that fight unfolds, man. But yeah, man, Crawford, I don't want to hear anyone talking about people are ducking the guy. I just don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear everyone saying that it's the PBC and, oh, they, they're, you know, signing everyone off and they're canter boxing. PBC fights don't make PBC fighters fight each other and, and they don't make them fight other promoters. No, that's just not the case. If you're going to fight a PBC fighter, though, you're going to have to pay top top dollar, though. That, that That's a high value asset for uh, PBC for sure. Facts, right? I still got them personally in my top three in the welterweight division. Um, if you're not talking about Terrence Crawford, if you're talking about just in the PBC, yeah, man, it's Manny Pacquiao, Errol Spence, and Keith One Time Thurman. You know, if you leave, if if you talk about the PBC, that that's their top commodity. You can't pay him some bum wage. It's just fact. You can't pay him a bum wage. He's not a bum wage fighter. You know, he's not a bum wage fighter. You, you, how do you go from fighting Pacquiao fight for getting you know the biggest person in your career to fight to fighting Terrence Crawford at a discount? That's not how things work. That's not how things work. So Bob Arum is going to have to wake up, you know, he's going to have to wake up really hard and, and smell the coffee. It must be too early for the guy. But let me know how you guys feel about Keith, Keith Chief Thurman, man, you know, clapping on my boy Terrence Crawford. Say, yo, you, whoa, you got to ask more comments on his check, man. You got to ask more comments on his check. Bob Arum was like, no, man, this is ridiculous. What kind of, what kind of money are you asking for? And he did. And, and one thing that I'm really, I know wasn't that much money because Bob Arum didn't even say how much it was. You know what I mean? You know, and, and, and even if it was a lot, the fact is, Terrence Crawford is supposed to be the number one pound for pound fighter of the world because he was the first undisputed champion at 140 to have all four belts in a very, very long time. And he, he's so accomplished, but you can't pull in this revenue to pay this other fighter. It doesn't make any sense. Does, make it make sense, guys. Make it make sense. Let me know how you guys feel about it though. Like, comment, subscribe. It's the Empire. Geobasket Empire. Peace.
I'm not gonna be superstitious. It's not bad luck, it's good luck. I went in, okay? I was hitting jackpot after jackpot after jackpot. You know, from little kids' world, man, I was making it rain them tickets, boy. You know what I'm saying? Them tickets was raining. I got to get the biggest toy I wanted to get at the end of the day. It was banging, man. So everybody enjoy your Friday the 13th. You already know what it is. The champ is coming to Brooklyn, baby. Coming to Brooklyn. We back. And still. Saturday night. And still. The champ, baby. One time.
me. I don't give a f what you say about me. I don't give a f what reporters write about. Fighters used to spit in each other's faces. Fighters used to throw punches at conferences. Fighters used to fight before the fight. A lot of shit used to happen back in the day. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Y'all motherfuckers just can't stop typing and writing and making articles about that shit and being on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram about that shit. Ask Keith Thurman what he care about. I don't give a I don't give a I don't ever I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to fight. Anybody who run their mouth, mouth don't throw punches. Punches throw punches. The fight happens in the ring.